All right, so we're back. Today in Terrains, we're going to look at how to change how your terrain looks. So let's actually get into some terrain sculpting. So let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our brush and we wanna choose raise or lower terrain. So brush size is how big this brush is. So your brush here will decide the shape that you have. And then this is your brush size. So if we take that up to a couple of hundred, we're drawing something huge. Oh, we take that down to 22, we're putting a little up. Now opacity is about how much we change the terrain at any point in time. So you can see the little preview. If we click right now, that's what it's going to create. So what we want to do is bring that opacity down. And now we've got a different influence on our terrain. So let me click on that. There we go. And what you can do is if you hold shift, what you'll actually do is you'll subtract that away. Add, subtract. You can only subtract back to your base height. So my tip is, grab yourself a nice big brush. Put the terrain opacity. All right, let's slap one in. There we go. All right, now what we want to do is switch to the set height brush. And if we shift click, we're now choosing a height. So anything that we paint will go at that original height. My advice is to always make a little bump and then set your whole terrain to that height from the start. Before you start sculpting and painting, set your terrain in. Because now if we go back to our raise and lower terrain, we can say we want to raise these parts up. Part, we can say we would like to lower these parts down. So it just gives you that flexibility to make things a little bit lower than the level you're building on to make those valleys crevasses and things like that. So raise or lower terrain, let's grab ourselves a nice soft brush and we'll use the square brackets to, to scale things up. You notice what we're doing is we're raising terrain. So if we click here, everything under our cursor moves up so we're keeping the shape that the terrain had and we're just bringing it all up and there we go then what we can do is grab our smooth height now our opacity we'll lower that a little bit so we're affecting things less and what we can do is we can soften these bumps out a little bit so we come over to these fairly angular edges over here. What we're doing is just blurring those values together to make that look like a little bit more of a slope. There we go, a little bit softer. So there we go. Raising and lowering the terrain, smoothing our height. And that's everything that we need to know. Thanks so much, I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, a huge thanks to my patrons for making all this possible.